Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you're new. Today's utter chaos. It is Sunday today and we are going away tomorrow and I haven't packed anything. So I'm going to rush around, pack everything and then show you what I've packed for George. George is seven months old. He's a very little needy boy at the moment. He's teething like mad. So... I'm going to show you what I'm packing for him from clothes to nappies to how many this, how many that. I'm going to try and take you along with me and film everything. Show you what we're packing for him. It's going to be a five day trip to Yorkshire and we are actually going to be there when you see this video. It's going to be going up on Wednesday and we'll already be there. But I thought I would try and cram this video in because I love watching these videos. I watched about 10 over the course of the last week and I still didn't pack a thing. So. Let's get into it and I hope you enjoy and I hope this is helpful because I tend to pack fairly well. I say that, I'm gonna forget loads of things now, but let's get into it. Okay, so this is everything that we're packing for our seven month old George when we go to Yorkshire for five days. The weather isn't looking amazing, so it is still, you know, UK weather in April time, beginning of April. We're starting off with the two outfits that he's gonna be traveling in and then coming home in. Um, so funny enough, he's gonna be wearing this tomorrow, so I haven't folded this up or anything, but this is actually what he's going to be coming home in and I've folded this up into like a clothes burrito kind of thing and it's literally got a vest, a long sleeve top, some trousers and some socks and I'll put it on screen now how I actually folded this up. It actually is such a massively, massively space saving tip and it's also really easy to find out like your outfit for the day for the baby. So I really recommend doing this method, especially for things like your nappy bag or if you're going on holiday and things like that. I think this is such a good method. You can see that I've actually laid out the rest of his outfits for the rest of the week in this way so that I can fold these up once I've shown you the outfit. So he's literally got a long sleeve vest and some trousers there and some socks. A similar outfit there in a different colour and then a similar outfit in another different colour. So those are his outfits for the week. Obviously, if you have a seven month old, you'll know that babies sometimes have accidents. So we have got two spare pairs of trousers, one spare long sleeve top and then four spare vests. But he also will probably wear a couple of these during the evenings or at night time when he's wearing his baby grows. We also have his sort of more formal outfit if we do get to go to a pub garden or if we get to go for a meal and obviously have to sit outside. We've got this jumper again, like I said, it's going to be a bit colder. So we've got this jumper and some baby jeans. George has never actually been able to wear jeans yet. So I thought it would be quite cute to wear these. He can wear one of these vests underneath and then he's just got some socks there as well. I'll be folding everything up exactly the same as as I will his coming home outfit, but I just wanted to show you guys what he's gonna be wearing. He also has a black hoodie here with these little bear ears on it as well. It has his name on it as well, just in case it gets a bit cooler and he's wearing one of the other outfits, he could just pop that on. And then for nighttime, we've got four baby grows, so we're gonna be there for four nights, so I've got four baby grows, so we've got one baby grow per night, which is perfect. I also have packed two hats, and the two different hats are, one is a warmer hat for obviously like, if it's cool and windy and then one is more of a summery hat because let's face it we don't know what's happening with the weather we know it's going to be quite chilly but it might be sunny one day and i want to be able to protect him from the sun we also have a few bibs here we've got about three bibs i think i think that'll be more than enough for him because i'm not going to lie most of the time we don't even bother with bibs we tend to give him food or a milk and then give him a little wash in the sink or something so yeah we've got three bibs just in case though especially if we're out and about that'd be perfect we also have a muslin like a swaddle muslin like a big one because um when maybe we're out on the pram or something i can just pop this underneath him so that he helps him to drink his bottle for example and it's just easy to have there for any quick last minute spills or if he's sick or anything like that we've just got that to hand which is perfect and then in terms of sleeping he's going to be wearing his sleeping bag this is a 2.5 tog sleeping bag he is normally in these at the moment this time of year until it gets a bit warmer when he'll go down to like a summer one a one tog he also has this blanket this is more for when he's in his buggy and he gets a little bit chilly i can just pop this over him so i'll have this in my rucksack for him i also then have his snoo shade we have the snoo shade plus deluxe and it's so good i really recommend it he's going to be sleeping the buggy a little bit and this just gives him basically a blackout blind for the buggy and it's breathable so it protects him from the sun if the sun is out but also if it's windy and all those kind of things this is really really good plus he loves sleeping in his buggy when he's got this on the pram so it's just it's just amazing i really highly recommend these guys and then we also have this grow anywhere blind this is from the grow company and i just love it so much we actually use this in george's 
main nursery but we actually bought it because we knew that we could take it anywhere we go so if we go to visit family or if we go on holiday we can take it wherever we go and George has always got a blacked out room which is perfect for nap time so yeah we've got that and we're taking that with us. I've also bought along George's Ergo Baby baby carrier this is the Ergo Baby 360 Omni I'll link it down below guys this is the best baby carrier ever and because we're going away in the UK we probably will be doing some walking and going to see some sights and things like that and actually having a baby carrier over a pram when you don't know thing, if things are going to be buggy friendly all that kind of thing I actually really think baby carrier is a must and this goes from like newborn all the way to like four five years or something like that so I really highly recommend this baby carrier you can wear it on the front on the back on the side the options are endless I really really rate this and I can't wait to use this when we go up to Yorkshire moving on to other bits so we've got George's formula George is now seven months old so he's on the six to twelve months follow-on formula the cow and gate stuff we also have three bottles because George is now having three bottles a day so we've got three sterilized bottles here we also have got the Mamiya microwave sterilizing bags these are from Aldi and they're really really good you can fit a bit two of these man bottles in here and sterilize it in the microwave we are probably also going to take his cold water sterilizer but we're using that at the moment we also just have this nook bottle brush this one's a little bit disheveled so maybe i'll get a new one before we go but yeah we're taking that as well just to clean out all the innards of the bottles as well in terms of nappies we are just going to be taking these fred and flow ones from tesco we're taking 48 which is definitely more than we'll need for five days but obviously it's just an open it's just a closed pack so i feel like that is just going to be so much easier for us we're going to take those i think probably six a day is a really good estimate but obviously that's more than that but you can never have too many nappies you don't want to be cut out short on nappies we all know that whenever i'm traveling going anywhere i always always take this is my um aldi travel changing mat i guess so in here you have some wipes just pop a pack of wipes you zip it in there and you have your wipes and then you can open it when you open it you've also got some nappies in there that i've just popped in there i've also popped some nappy bags in case they're you know smelly ones um, and then it opens up and it is a proper changing mat for them so you can literally change them anywhere you are which is perfect so i really recommend these i'm sure you can get these on amazon as well and if you can i'll link them down below anytime there is a baby event on at aldi i really recommend getting this but like i said there are loads on amazon as well so i'll link them down below then we have some toiletries for george again we've just got another pack of the wipes here these ones are the aqua pure ones any of the ones that have like 99% water for me are perfect if they're biodegradable then even better we also just have a little muslin cloth here for when he's in the bath I can sort of just get the water and then rinse him over with it um, and then we've also got some pseudocreme just in case he has any nappy rash but I have to say George doesn't really get nappy rash massively but sod's law if you're away he'll get it so I've popped that in there this is just some of the Burt's Bees shampoo that I've just popped into here this is just a one of those containers you can get um and i'm worried it's gonna leak which is why it's in a ziploc bag so this is just the burt's bees shampoo and then some burt's bees baby oil as well because george's got a little bit of dry skin at the moment so i've taken that so i can give him a little baby massage after the bath and then down here we just got his baby towel as well he's still in the hooded towels just because he looks so cute in them so i thought i'd bring those and then in terms of like medication and things george is teething like mad at the moment if you've got a seven month old you'll appreciate so we've actually just taken some neurofen some baby neurofen we've sought gp advice on this and they've absolutely advised that george needs this sometimes obviously if he's got a fever or something like that we'll use this if not we'll stick to the bongella and we'll stick to these teether granules teething granules these are supposed to be really good we've used the ashton and parsons ones and now we're using the teether ones so yeah we'll use those if he needs it hopefully he doesn't but if he does we've got everything that we need and then we've also just got some sun cream here this is the p20 sun care for kids 50 fps but we're not really expecting it to be too hot um in yorkshire at this time of year because you know it's the uk so we've just got that just in case but i don't expect to use that i'm not gonna lie in terms of entertainment and toys and things i'm taking it really minimal for this trip so we've literally just got this lamar's snail little play mat thing that george loves it's really like crinkly it's got a few things but it's also really really portable because you can fold it up and pop it in any bag so yeah we're going to take this and we've also got george's favorite toy in the world which is a whisk yes a whisk just a plain whisk we're going to take this with us We've also got a little teether. This is his favourite teether. And this is the Matchstick Monkey. And then we've also got the Tommy Eggs. You guys know that he absolutely adores these. These little eggs. And he just 
loves taking them out and tipping them out and playing with them and munching on them and stuff as well so we're going to be taking those and I like these for traveling because they are self-contained and I can just take the whole thing with me without having to pick up loads of little pieces I mean you have to pick up the pieces to put them in here but you guys know what I mean so these are really really portable toys that he's absolutely gonna love look he's ironing up those eggs already and then just in terms of food and things like that so we've also got a silicone bowl that we can just wash up every time that he's used it a couple of spoons because we do tend to go for a couple of spoons per meal so we'll just wash those up after we've used them and um, we've got his Tommy Tippy cup this seems to be the only cup that he's capable of drinking water out of it really is just <laughs> the best sorry that is just George try to tell you a little story um but yeah this is the best cup for him to drink water out of it's the one he gets on yeah. with the best so yeah we're taking that with us it is actually really good for traveling because it doesn't spill too much i know there are some, are some that are really good for not spilling but george can't use them he just cannot figure them out just yet so on the way up i think we will have to stop for some food for george so we've just taken this for on the way up it's just a tesco spaghetti bolognese exploring the flavors it's um seven months plus stage two weaning it's all organic it literally has exactly the same ingredients as all of the ella's kitchen pouches so we're just going to take that but when we're up there we will be just cooking like we would normally um for george so yeah he'll just have things that we would have minus the salt um and yeah just a few things probably some more baby led weaning things as well because of that we're going to be taking his mama's and papa's chair he really loves this and we always just pop food like on this tray and he just picks it up and eats it so if we had toast or something like that he would just pop that on here and then take it with his hands and eat it so we won't really need any more stuff we'll just like pop it on the tray here and then wet that up afterwards but the mams and papas tray also comes with this which is like a little activity center thing it has suction cups on the bottom pop that on here and he absolutely loves it so yeah we'll be popping that on there if he needs entertaining if we're making him a bottle or making some dinner or something like that george will be on this so yeah he'll be happy you'll be happy won't you boy yeah then we're also going to be taking a travel cot for George. This travel cot is really, really good. It's so affordable as well, so I really recommend it. I'll link it down below. The only downside about this travel cot is that it doesn't come with a really good mattress. The mattress is quite thin, so we did buy an extra mattress. Again, this was really affordable, so I'll link these two down below. These are really good. They're really compact, really, really easy to like carry and you know pack in the car and stuff, so these are really good. Everything that I've talked you through so far is just over there these two items as well added to the list and of course two things we absolutely cannot forget is you in dream shoot just in case we're having an off day and he needs help with napping and his favorite baby mori comforter he absolutely loves this thing and i just think for peace of mind i'm going to take these two so that george can have a very very good nap during the days we're also going to be taking george's baby monitor which is just behind us as you can see but George is going to need that for tonight so we'll pack that last minute before we go tomorrow so other than the things that I've already shown you I'm also going to be packing he's literally looking at himself in the mirror um, I'm going to be packing George's pram his little really really compact pram buggy whatever you want to call it it's the baby zen yo-yo 2 it's really compact it folds up perfectly into the boot we've also got the baby carrier so it's going to be okay he's pulling my hair it's going to be okay if it's not bush hair friendly or if it's too hot or whatever and we want to not use the baby carrier we can use push chair vice versa so yeah we're gonna be taking that but that is absolutely everything that we're taking for our little trip away our little staycation i really hope you guys are able to get away even that's if it, that's you know an hour away from your house now that we're allowed to travel a little bit um within the uk obviously <laughs> But I really hope you have a lovely week. I'm not going to be uploading on Sunday because obviously I am away on holiday with my family. But I will see you in the next one. I'll see you next week. Love you lots. Bye. You glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby